Hi everybody. Today we'll do a brief walk through the dummy bars package. Sorry, the dummy bars function from the caret package. Uh, this, uh, as its name implies, this function allows you to create dummy variables. In other words, it translates text data into numerical data for modeling purposes. So if you're planning on doing predictive analytics or machine learning and want to use regression and any of the other modeling techniques that require numerical data, you will need to transform your text data into numbers uh, if you want to use that data in your models. In R, there are plenty of ways of translating text data into numerical data. You can do it manually. You could use a base function like uh, the matrix uh, function, or you could use a packaged function like uh, dummy var from the caret package, and that's what we're going to talk about today. One of the big advantages of going with the caret package is it's full of features. So uh, it, can, it includes hundreds of algorithms and uh, many pre-processing functions uh, for your data. So once you, you format, once you understand how it works and you format your data set into a, a caret friendly way, you can quickly run your data through hundreds of models with minimal tweaking. But let's first look at a few examples of dummy variables. We'll start with a very simple case. Imagine a survey question with five categorical values. So here, let's go back to um, to R. And I'm actually going to cut and paste it, so I don't have to type it. Let's take this a survey data set, which has only one column called service. So you know, imagine it's a survey for for some kind of service. Let's say a, a car rental, for example. And you have five levels. You're either uh, very unhappy, unhappy, neutral, happy, and very happy. So this has five levels. And in this state, um, a regression model wouldn't be able to, to work with this. It would need to have numbers associated with it. So that's very simple in this case, because because it's a, a linear type of data, um, we can very easily add, for example, a rank column. There we go and pass this to our regression model, where very unhappy is one, all the way to very happy five. So as um, uh, regression models like to think in, um, uh, linear regression models like to think in fractions of numbers, uh, you could say that a 2.5 is somewhat unhappy, and that would work here. A 4.8 would be very happy, and that would work here. So we're very, with minimal amount of work, we managed to transform this data set into something a uh, linear regression model could understand. But this, un unfortunately, only happens very rarely. Most of the times, that won't work. Um, think about uh, marital status or gender. Does it make sense to be a quarter female? Does it? Uh, can you say you're half single? And even some numerical data of categorical nature may require transformation as well. Uh, think about the zip code system. Does the halfway point between two zip codes make geographical sense? Because that's how a regression model would use it. So on a, on a, a humorous, fuzzy logic way, you could say you're half single, but for, a, 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 for modeling, that's not going to work. Uh, we need a more precise way of translating these values into numbers so that they can be regressed by a model. So this is where um, the, the caret package comes in. So let's, I already have it, but just so um, you see, you would have, you would, uh, you know, call the library caret, the, the caret package. If you don't have it, you'll have to install it. And it's a big install because it installs a lot of things um, with it. Um, and uh, so please go ahead and install it. Um, and let's take, um, to, 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 to give you an example of how this works, Let's take a, a, a slightly larger data set, a customer data set. So here, let's look at what it is. So, you know, it's a small data set. It has an ID column, presumably for, you know, the person that, is, that it's uh, referring to, a gender, and it's a factor of two levels, male and female. It also has a mood column with, with two factors, as, uh, two levels as well, happy and, or, or sad and an outcome. So this would be our um, uh, uh, dependent uh, variable, our response variable, and these would be our predictors, the gender and, uh, and the mood. So um, uh, we, to, to, to dummify this data set, it's very easy with the care package. So we, ha we, we create a variable to hold our 
our transformed um, data set. It takes a formula, just as a typical R formula, something by something, and here we're going to say transform everything, and you pass it what the data set is. So it's that simple. Um, so this is not a data frame yet. You'd have to uh, uh, transform the, the dummy variables into a data set, and that's easy to do. And you would you call the predict function that's used throughout the carrot package. And pass it our data set. There you go. So let's see what it did. It didn't it didn't transform the ID, but it uh, removed the gender column and instead added two new columns, gender point female, gender point male. So a gender female of zero is not a female, and of one is a female. Gender male of one is male, zero is not a male. Same thing with mood. It removed the original mood column and added mood.happy, mood.sad, and you know, you're either happy or sad. And outcome, it didn't transform it. So the first thing we noticed that it only transformed uh, some of the data, but not everything. And right off the bat, uh, this dummy function either transform factors, so it transformed uh, gender and mood, it doesn't uh, transform numerical value because most modeling, most uh, uh, modeling uh, algorithms do, can work with uh, numbers, so you don't need to transform numbers. But in case you had to, um, uh, let's say it was a zip code and you had to, it's very easy. So let's say for, for, for the sake of this example, let's transform the, the outcome to a, um, let's dummify the outcome column which is numerical, which in here is very easy. You call, you would transform it into your data set. So um, just make it a factor. There you go. Call again the um, our dummy variable function. We'll pass it to a data frame. And let's see what it did. As you'll notice, it also transformed. It removed the original outcome column and did outcome.0, outcome.1. So uh, there you have it. One more thing um, I would like to show. Let's go back to the original data set. Let's say, let's say you just wanted to transform one column. Let's say you just wanted to do gender, not mood, outcome, or anything else. So then, and that's also is fairly easy. You would, instead of uh, in the formula, instead of doing dot where it, you apply it to everything, you would just call uh, the specific, you would pass a specific column you want to transform. And same thing, you pass it to a data frame. And here what it did is it, because you only want gender, it didn't touch anything else and it's not returning anything else either. It's just returning the two, um, the, the two new columns that it dummified from the original gender column. So here you would, you know, use merge or um, C bind to add it back to whatever data set you need to add it back to. Um, and um, so you see, it's very easy, very fast to transform uh, to make uh, dummy variables. One, one, one other thing that's that's important. If you look at um, um, uh, here, let's let's go back. Let's let's go back to our or to the. Let's transform the whole, oops, let's transform the entire data set again, pass it to a data frame. There is some redundancy here. In, in a, a factor level, and in, in a fact, um, a column with uh, uh, factors of only two levels, you're either female or male, you're either happy or sad, you don't need to have it twice, okay? that Then you, you start having issues of, of uh, collinearity, and, um, also referred to as a dummy trap. Uh, not only does it add more more data to your data set that it does not need, it also can uh, you know hurt your models. You don't want things uh, closely correlated that way. So the dummy the dummy variable has a uh, the dummy var function has a very easy um, uh, 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 way of dealing with that, and it's called full rank. And you just say full rank true. Transform it, and there it did it. So it shows out of both levels, it shows gender.male. So you're either male, or if in this case, if it's zero, you're female. Same thing with sad. It, 
it didn't use this, the, the happy column because you're either uh, sad, uh, in this case zero would be you're happy because you're not sad or you're you're sad you're not happy and this would work very well in in um, you know in most regression uh, models so there you have it uh, the dummy var function very easy way to uh, quickly dummify uh, your data sets um, I've used this on very very large um, data sets and haven't had any issues um, you know until uh, your your um, your RAM is full and then you have to use you know creative ways uh, of, uh, of uh, dealing with uh, you know um, of uh, you know using your hard drive or not to uh, to deal with large data sets and actually I'm thinking about doing a video on that down the road uh, how to deal with data sets that are larger than your your RAM can handle so I hope this was helpful and thanks for listening and see you soon bye bye